Hello, friends. Infinitives versus conjugations. What is an infinitive? What is a conjugation? All right, so we have them in English, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, French, Romanian. It doesn't matter. All languages have infinitives. All languages have conjugations. So an infinitive is the root form of a verb. It's, it's not tied to a specific person, like subject, or tense. It's, it's not like uh, tied to the present tense or past tense, future tense. It doesn't matter. In English, all infinitives begin with two. And in Spanish, all infinitives end with ar, er, or ir, ar, er, ir. So, this is, it's pretty cool. A lot of native English speakers don't ever, not cognizant of infinitive versus conjugation. But the verb to dance, I dance, you dance, he dances, we dance, they dance, all right? Bailar, cantar, visitar, dibujar. These are all infinitives, right? And there's just, any verb has a root form, and that root form is the infinitive. Comer, beber, correr, recoger, to eat, to drink, to run, to pick up. Vivir, escribir, recibir, asistir. All infinitives. So here's, there's only three groups of infinitives in Spanish. AR verbs, ER verbs, and IR verbs. So, a conjugation is, again, it's that verb. So let's look at the verb bilat. Verb form to fit a specific subject in a specific tense. Okay, and then a conjugation chart is a six-box chart that helps to systematize, it helps create a system of how verbs are conjugated. Right? So this works for English, it works for Spanish, it works for any language. And we'll, we'll break down this chart more in just a second. So that verb to dance, remember, I dance, you dance. He dances, or maybe she dances, we dance, they dance, or, or y'all dance, right? So, bailo, bailas, baila, bailamos, bailan. Look at this, this is, it's the same root, bail, and then you change the endings in Spanish, and that's how you conjugate, that's how you conjugate verbs. You take off the AR ending, and then you replace it with, with the system, with the pattern. So, these are conjugations. I would never say, I dances. I dances all night long. No, that wouldn't say, I'd say she dances all night long, or we dance, right? So here in English is the big conjugation. The third person singular always has the S at the end, or usually, right? So let's look at this. Here is the conjugation chart. If we know from like English class, think about the narrator's point of view. Is it a first person point of view, second person point of view, or third person? So here's your chart. And we can label it first, second, third person, singular, plural, plural. I am first person. I'm number one always. So look, I am number one, and I'm only one person. What happens if I become more than one person? First person, plural, I become we, right? We. Second person, you. Third person, right? Because you are only one person. Third person, he or she. And this is kind of, the, in Spanish, you have this usted form. So usted is going to be you formal. We'll get there in other videos. Only Spain uses this box. It's the vosotros form. In the Western Hemisphere, you don't need it. And really, in Spain, you don't even need it either. So, I, you, he, she, we, they. Because look, he, if you have he plus he, multiple he, plural he, it becomes they, they. And then in uh, y'all, right? Which I know you could say here, but we'll, go, we'll get through that later in the subject pronoun video. So, this is our conjugation chart. And that's how it works. So verbs are formed to match specific subjects in a specific tense. Whew. Pause your video if you need, take a look, absorb it. In Spanish, there are different endings placed on the different verb types. AR verbs, ER verbs, IR verbs. 
And for each tense, present tense or preterite, imperfect tense, subjunctive, conditional, all these different tenses, there's more charts. Okay, so check this out. This is all present tense. I dance. Now, check this out. What if we change it, AR verbs, ER verbs, IR verbs, and we take it to the preterite? Last night, I danced. Instead of I dance, yo bailo, yo baile. I dance. I danced all night long. <laughs> all right, last night, I ate yo comi pizza. So this is, there's, there's different endings for every single tense. There's, a, there's tons of conjugations in Spanish, and they're all systematized. So present tense versus the preterite tense. O, as, a, amos, an. E, aste, o, amos, aron. Right? And, and notice, this, this, is, this is an introduction. You don't, this is not something you got to learn and memorize right now. But see, there's a pattern. There's a huge pattern. Okay? So th this isn't all of the tenses, but check it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 different ways that you could form a verb. The present tense, the preter, imperfect, future tense. And there's other videos that will talk about all these tenses. Conditional tense, present subjunctive, imperfect subjunctive. And they all have these, they all have different endings. It's a system and we got to memorize the system. we got to memorize the pattern. Okay. Last slide. Here it is. Ver like conjugations and infinitives. You cannot place, do not place two conjugations back to back. Okay, whenever two verbs are placed together, the first verb is conjugated, the second verb remains in the infinitive. Okay, here's the example. I like to run. Look, to run, correr. Me gusta correr. Do we say, I like I run? I like I run every day. No, 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 no. I like to run every day. So this is, this is wrong, right? The first verb, I like, right? Conjugated. The second verb, to run, is the infinitive. I need to leave. Yo necesito salir. Look, it's an IR verb here. Yo necesito salir. I need I leave? Wrong. Yo necesito salgo? Wrong. No, no, no. Yo necesito salir. I need to leave. Notice the infinitive salir, it has that built-in to. Does that make sense? It's, in English, we have a whole other word that we always have to add. To, 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 to. In Spanish, it's built into the translation. It's built into the word. Salir, hablar, escribir, correr, comer. All right. Hope this video helped just introduce conjugations versus infinitives. Uh, have a great day and we'll see you next time.